<coughs> Excuse me. Hi guys, how are ya? We are back with the Raven. And we are playing Inti's accomplice's girlfriend. The Soviet. She has a fake jewel. I have no idea where Inch had the fake jewel made. But it's amazing. Even someone with as much experience as I have has to look twice before realizing it's a fake. So yeah, I don't know, this is so weird. Seeing everything from her perspective now. The poster proudly announces the ship's first Atlantic crossing. The city of New York welcomes the MS Lydia. <laughs> I had to say, I kind of like you. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, so let's get food. Would it be okay for you if I get some fresh air up on deck? Of course, my dear. Give my regards to the sea. <laughs> it was rather beautiful. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Just standing there. Wooden salad tongs, just small enough to carry around unseen. Where? Do we have secret pockets? I don't know. Does your dress have freaking pockets? Because I want them. I'm not an expert, but I think that Mr. Kreutzer really is a very skilled violinist. At least, I liked it, and the captain was certainly smitten. Yeah, I liked it too. Excuse me, gentlemen. She can't have meant you, Mr. Kreutzer. Why don't you just let me have a conversation with the young lady? I, I, I just wanted... Did you count the rings on your fingers, my dear? I think I'm going to stretch my legs. But, Mr. Kreutzer, please stay. You simply must tell me more about your wonderful violin. <sighs> if you insist. Okay. There seems to be tension between the violinist and the writer. I'd better not get involved. Yeah, probably. Yay! A wonderful concert, wasn't it? I wouldn't have expected you to be a connoisseur of classical music. Because I'm American? Because you're young, and friendly, and radiant. Someone like you doesn't have to know a lot to get along well in life. Oh, okay. Are you easily prejudiced at your age? In my long experience, there's often a core of truth at the center of every prejudice. Prejudice is the reason of fools. Was that written in the book you once read? Oh, I've read many books. Good books. But not my books, you mean to say. <laughs> You're a writer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What can I do for you, Miss... Mayors. You know, I'm not planning on throwing myself at a man. I'm glad to hear it. You have to work. Earn your own money. Oh, I will. My grades are excellent, and I really want to study acting in New York. None of my books has ever been made into a good film. The stories were twisted, shortened, and simplified, so that even the dimmest fellow could follow them. Mm. I want to do theater and travel. I speak three languages. That would be three more than most people your age can speak. <laughs> do what you have to do. But stay away from bad men. I love this McCart more and more every time I speak to her. Is this your first trip on the Lydia? That's quite enough. Life is too short for conversations like this. I do wish that rather delightful Swiss policeman had come along. I heard you had an interesting trip on the train. It was thrilling. I'm hoping for an encore. Perhaps in Cairo. <laughs> Miss 
Dr. Kreutzer possesses impressive technique, don't you think? He certainly does. His numerous playmates in Austria can tell you more about it than I. You mean, Mr. Kreutzer is a womanizer? I'm not talking about cheap skirts. I'm talking about expensive clothes. A man like him needs funds to support his lifestyle. Just go over to him, my dear. Tell the maestro that your family is wealthy. You have everything he's looking for. Money and a pretty face. Hold your tongue. <laughs> Mr. Kreutzer. Lady Westmuckle, please. <laughs> or did you have your eye on me, Mr. Kreutzer? Old, yes. But rich. Jezebel. <laughs> Mr. Kreutzer. Maestro. <sighs> That's better. Freeloader. <laughs> you and Mr. Kreutzer, you seem to know each other. Not really, but I know his type. Parasites who cling to the rich and famous and suck them dry. The young, misunderstood painter. The innovative writer who writes books that no one wants to read. The musical talent that has to be supported. The ladies and gentlemen of high society let the others use them and call themselves patrons. Another word for fool. Didn't you finance archaeological excavations in the Near East and Egypt? For my husband, and I was there myself. I catalogued items for him, and I didn't show him off like a trophy at cocktail parties. But my son was one of them, the worst kind. The kind that sucks not only the money, but also the life right out of a person. Mm -hmm. May I take my leave? You may. Uh, she just seems to have such an amazing life. I'm so jealous. He's sweating profusely. Burst capillaries and a sweet odor. I hope the crew doesn't take the captain for a role model and that they stay sober for the rest of the trip. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Uh, ba -ba. Is there anything else I can do? So dark. Ah, lovely big towel. I hope tomorrow I'll have a chance to sunbathe and enjoy the rest of the trip. <laughs> I just randomly taking this stuff. Because why not? A deck chair in the sunshine on a cruise ship. I'd be a fool to miss out on that tomorrow. But I have to take care of my duties before I can relax in the sun. Yeah, work before time. That's all the ways. Okay. Hello. A handsome man and a talented musician. But he doesn't seem very happy. He certainly doesn't. Hello, Mr. Kreutzer. Do you want to have a go at me, like the old witch in there? I just wanted to talk to you. Now is not the best time. I just wanted to tell you that I really loved your music, and that Lady Westmacott did not have the right to speak to you like that. Really? How do you know? You don't know me. Then, did she have the right? No, she didn't. That cynical old witch enjoys exposing the weaknesses of others, although we all have them. She as well. She lusts for recognition and acts as though it weren't so disgraceful. She rejects prizes and awards with snide remarks, but she's angry when others receive them. She needs to know that she's better than others. You seem to know her quite well. I've only met her once or twice, but I know her son and some of her friends. One friend of hers supported me for a long time. No one is brave enough to say to her face that everyone hates her. Her or her success? <laughs> exactly. You're so talented. Why aren't you performing on the world's great stages? Fate, perhaps. Or bad luck. My parents opened every door for me and my sister and expected corresponding careers. Over-ambitious parents who force their children to play music? No. 
It wasn't like that. I loved it. I loved to play the violin. They didn't have to force me. I wanted to do it on my own. I thought I would achieve my goals if only I worked hard enough. But it was not to be. What happened? In a more dramatic story, I'd say that I broke my hand just before my big break. Or that I was rejected because of my nationality or my name, or that I was brought down by a conspiracy. But nothing like that ever happened. I practiced like mad. Got better and better. Really good. But nothing happened. The right people never heard me. I was never in the right place at the right time. Can you imagine how it feels to always be on the cusp of a breakthrough? To be just one evening away from becoming an overnight sensation? To see how other, less talented violinists pass you by because you just aren't lucky enough? How terrible. For every star in the limelight, there are a dozen more that burn out unseen, fading month by month. I didn't want to be one of those people who waste their lives chasing dreams without realizing that they're unattainable. If I couldn't have the life that I always dreamt of, and that my family expected from me, then at least I could have the next best life. The next best life? Mansions, limousines, parties, everything you could wish for. Though none of it belongs to me. The lady calls you a freeloader. <laughs> An ugly word, but maybe not so far from the truth. I move with the rich and famous, and at first glance, I live exactly the life my father always wished for me. A carefree life, easy going. And I play the violin, which I always loved to do. But it's not really like that. It's empty. My life is just a shell. A show, and everyone knows it. I loved something once, and I burned for it. But now, the violin is just an accessory for practicing my real profession. And your family? How could I ever look them in the eyes? A failed violinist who gave up. What does the future hold for you? Isn't it obvious? My hands are starting to shake from alcohol. What will be left once I lose my good looks? I'll have nothing then. And so I'll put an end to it all. You can't say things like that. Jesus Christ, man. With my father's pistol. I always have it with me. Uh -oh. it, it's gone. <laughs> Fate won't even grant me a quick death. Don't you think you can still make it? No. It's too late now. The real question is, did I give up too quickly back then? I don't know. Thank you for listening. Goodbye, Mr. Kreutzer. Okay. I honestly don't know what to say. I mean, there are people who work hard and hard and they just can't make it. Practicality was definitely placed ahead of design here. I guess the Lydia regularly docks at harbors that don't have their own gangways. And rather than make the passengers climb ladders, they opted for the less beautiful alternative. <laughs> but yeah, there's other options for your life than the one you can't achieve. It doesn't have to be... If I can't do this, then I'll just kill myself because that's not the life. That's not an option. That's not a good option at all. I hope that now that he doesn't have a gun, he starts thinking about how to better the life he had. Not just drink alcohol. Like, could you woman walk properly? Holy. I'm sure I could help you if... Stand aside! If you told me what you're looking for. But you're just getting in my way! Now get out! I'll wait at the door, madam. Yes, yes. Oh, miss... Mayors, can I help you? No, I'm just having a look around the ship. Good day. Okay. Oh, that was close. Oh. Don't really like we are not we are not getting here. Can we go downstairs please? Oh. Inches 
intelligent and ruthless, a dangerous combination. He's not a brilliant planner, but he is smart and careful. He senses danger. I'm afraid he might suspect that something is wrong. Well, that's not good. Hmm. A very fine handiwork. The model maker even wrote the name of the ship on the tiny life preservers. Oh. But the winter garden at the back of the saloon is missing. And the stern deck looks different. It was obviously made before the ship was remodeled. Most likely, yeah. So, where are you going, woman? For crying out loud. Down the Oh boy. I honestly but this is probably the only thing that really, really annoys me about this game. Con controls can still be so freaking annoying. <clears throat> Several journals and magazines. Ah, this looks pretty interesting. Art and culture today. Huh. There's something about the exhibition. Unique masterpieces exhibited for the first time together in their home country. Tireless efforts of Baroness von Triplets. Okay. Um, there we the go. only regular event seems to be the nightly drink in the saloon. Judging from the rest of the entertainment program, it seems necessary. Oh, well. We briefly discussed whether we should try to steal the second eye here on the ship. The lack of escape routes and the ten centimeter thick door to the safe settled the question. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. So, let's see. What happens here? Come in. How can I help you, young lady? Are you the ship's doctor? Uh, yes, of course. You see, that's what I thought. Because you've got a uniform and you work in the medical center. Well spotted, young lady. My name is Dr. Gebhardt. How can I help you? What are the other passengers like? Mm, listen, young lady, I, I do not really have time to chat right now. Today is my first day, and it is going mm, uh, differently than I had expected. You do seem a little stressed. Maybe you should relax. Stress isn't good for you. <laughs> you. <laughs> You're right. If there is nothing else I can help you with. But you weren't really helpful at all. Maybe I'll come back later. Bye now. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what the point of that was, but I do. It was, it was funny. It was funny. Okay, let's see. Um, I know we are supposed to do something. I just have no, no clue what that is. Okay. He has the enviable talent of being able to sleep anywhere, anytime. He once fell asleep on a cable car and only woke up after he'd already gone up the mountain and back down again. <laughs> I used to be like that. I we booked I still this cabin because it's centrally located, easy to duck in whenever we need to. Of course, the fact that it's a first-class cabin with a huge bathroom and shower had nothing to do with it. Of course as not. soon as I've swapped the jewels, I'll treat myself to a hot shower, and then we'll see how the evening progresses. How am I supposed to swap the jewels, though? Hmm. 
Normally, I don't carry so many things around, but it would have been suspicious if I'd come aboard with nothing but a rucksack whilst pretending to be the daughter of a wealthy family. Sure. I got this necklace from my father. It's supposed to remind me that money isn't the most important thing in life. If all you've got is this penny, as well as family and friends, then you're a very rich girl, he said. I'll take it with me. It'll bring me luck. Oh. I don't like wearing hats, but they do fit the role. And I have to admit that the day in London when we shopped for Patricia Mayers was a lot of fun. <laughs> I always tried to carry as few personal items as possible. If my things were ever searched, they won't reveal my true identity. Mm, good idea. It happened pretty fast between us. It was magic when we first met. Birds of a feather flock together, and he can be very charming. <laughs> Daddy wasn't at all amused when I brought him home, mind. But I don't think he'd have been satisfied with anyone. That's a lot of fathers for you. Okay, so I'm supposed to somehow... Am I supposed to swap the freaking tool here in the ship? How? Inch is watching the door. I need another way into the cabin. Oh, I need to get into the body cabin now? Oh god. I don't know how. I still can't go here, can I? Okay. I can go upstairs. Two handsome sailors are standing at the table and studying a marine map. Good thing they're busy. I can have a look around without being disturbed. Okay. Is there anything you can look around to? Hmm. A classic. The thief enters through the ventilation shaft. Can it really be that easy? No, it can't. The cover is screwed shut. All the first class cabins have their own ventilation. The shaft might be my best point of entry, but unfortunately, the cover is screwed shut. So I have to find a screwdriver. No idea what kind of flag this is, but the pole it's attached to could be very useful one day. It's about 80 centimeters long and looks quite stable. Where the hell do I keep putting these things though? Yes, it's sturdy, but it's also too cumbersome to carry around. No, there's no gap to put the pole in. I can't force the cover open. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that. I guess we need something else. Um. Okay. Why would I do this? But hmm. interesting. I could jam the penny in and make a kind of improvised screwdriver. Why not? Oh wow. Really? Interesting. <laughs> right. That's it. I just hope that this is the right shaft. 
Oh, bloody hell. I still haven't found a way to get back into the ventilation shaft from the cabin. I need something like a rope and a way to tie it to the shaft. Oh, the blast double. Hmm. I could tie the bath towel around the pole, put the pole across the ventilation shaft, and climb down with the help of the towel. Sounds like a plan. No. I don't want to do this. Are you kidding me? Here goes nothing. Oh my goodness. This woman is resourceful as hell, but um Oh hello Columnus. Ah, Jakob Aust. I finally got you. I'll have them arrest you and justice will be done. <laughs> okay. Can I be of assistance, madam? Yes. You can get out of the way. Shall I tidy up, madam? No. It's time to celebrate. Okay. Excellent. The coast is clear. Wow. <laughs> the mannequin could probably wear my clothes. It'd disappear under the Baroness's clothes, though. Probably, but you know, people are different. It seems likely. like she was searching for a specific photo, and that she actually found it. Jakob Aust. Now I've got you, she said. We got our hands on the list of passengers, but I don't recognize the name. Hundreds of black and white photos, many of them tinted, from the twenties and thirties, I guess. Oh, I don't have time to deal with them. Okay. The Baroness wrote something down and took the slip of paper with her. Oh, it's probably not important. Yes, it is. I want to know what the hell she wrote. But no, let's not do that. As a child, I often stood in front of shop windows and tried to stand as still as the mannequins. But when I got bored, I claimed that one of the mannequins had blinked and declared myself the winner. <laughs> Impressive for a quick drink on the go. Are you kidding? <laughs> hmm. More bottles might be the good stuff. Napkins and towels, but no jewel. No, bloody. Ugh. What's that? A small leather strap. Aha. The fix is unlocked. Okay, cool. I'd put money on the eye of the Sphinx being behind this door. I don't think anyone would bet against me. Yeah, probably not. To me, it looks like a combination lock. A good one, too. The door only opens when the right symbols are in place. There are outlines of animals. A dog, a cat, a bear, and a rooster, amongst others. Eight symbols per cylinder. That means more than 4,000 possible combinations. Uh, yeah, that's not something I can just come up with. Nefertiti, Guernica, A.D. Buonarotti's Adam. This could be a memory aid for the Baroness. And it would explain how Inch discovered the combination. I'm going to copy the hints. Hmm. As I see it, I have to decipher these clues to find three of the symbols. Then I can guess the fourth. Well, Nefertiti was an Egyptian queen. The monogram and the two other clues aren't much help. I've copied the hints into my diary. Maybe someone on board can help me to figure out at least three of the four symbols. Okay. Uh, 
a suitable glass for every occasion. But most of them look more or less unused. The Baroness probably disregards style and etiquette when she's drinking alone, and just uses the same glass. Probably. Gin, whiskey, liqueur, sherry, vodka, brandy, and champagne. Every bottle is at least half empty. That's... that's a lot of... stuff, to be honest. Corkscrew, bottle opener, coaster. I can't use any of these. Let's finish the investigation then. Uh. Not even a deal would believe that this painting was an original. He was interested in art when we first met, but to him it was always about the content, not the technique. I had my work cut out teaching him to concentrate on the stroke, the material, and the signature of the artist. It's the only way to distinguish an original from a fake. I don't care who painted it as long as it speaks to me, he said. A perspective that, as an art thief, I can't share. But it's charming, nonetheless. <laughs> I'm here to steal one of the most valuable jewels in the world. Not to swipe the contents of handbags. You've been... Luckily, I don't have to go through all these suitcases. Inch has been traveling with this woman through Europe for months. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. You took salad tongs, but you can't go through a purse. Like, come on, woman. <laughs> I'm sure that the eye is in the Baroness's luggage. Okay, you just teleported there, so I feel like this is a good... <laughs> Good time to end this video. We actually got something done. I can't believe it. But eh, yeah, if you would like to see more, click like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!